Good morning. It's Thursday the 24th of November. Every year, the Collins English Dictionary produces a word of the year. And recently they published their list of the top 10 words for 2022. They're words that they think reflect the changing usage of language and in turn reflects people's priorities in terms of the words that they choose to use. Some words are new. Some are existing words that have risen to prominence because of the events of the year. The word experts on the dictionary evidently monitor 15 billion words and the way that they are used in order to create their list. So here are some of the top 10. One is the word Carolean, which is of or relating to the reign of Charles III of Great Britain and Northern Ireland. Of course, following the death of Queen Elizabeth, Charles III's reign began and as such, the Carolean era began. Another is the word Partygate, which of course describes the scandals over social gatherings by the British government in their offices during 2020 and 2021 in defiance of public health restrictions at the time. One phrase that I'd never heard of was the word splooting, which describes the act of lying flat on your stomach with your legs stretched out. Feel free to have a go at it, splooting whenever the fancy takes you. Remember, you heard it here first. One phrase in the top 10 I had heard of was the word warm bank, which is about a heated building where people can gather because they're struggling to heat their homes because of the fuel crisis and the current poverty challenges. Many of our churches and community buildings are currently exploring how they can be involved in providing warm banks or warm spaces. The top word on the list is another that I hadn't heard of but it does seem to describe the current situation that we find ourselves in. It's the word permacrisis, which is defined as an extended period of instability and insecurity, especially one resulting from a series of catastrophic events. Alex Beecroft, the head of Collins Learning says, it sums up just how truly awful 2022 has been for so many people. We're in an ongoing state of uncertainty and worry, living through the upheaval caused by Brexit, the pandemic, severe weather, the war in Ukraine, political instability, the energy squeeze and the cost of living crisis. It feels like a permanent crisis, hence the phrase perma crisis. In Luke 21, Jesus speaks about the challenging times that will take place for the people around at that time. He says, there will be leaders who cannot be trusted. Nations will go to war against each other. There will be natural disasters. People will be hungry. There will be plagues. It all sounds very familiar in terms of what is going on in the world at the moment. But then in verse 9 of Luke 21, he says, don't panic. That phrase reminds me of Lance Corporal Jones in Dad's Army when he ran around shouting, don't panic, don't panic, making everybody around him panic. I'm not sure he'd have been much use in a perma crisis. Yet I think what Jesus is speaking about is a reminder that in the midst of turbulent and challenging times, we need to hold firm to God and stay calm, trusting in him. Faith is not about life always being easy and does not take away from the challenges of the world, but it does offer our God who is alongside us in all things. Let's pray. Loving God in the midst of upheaval and uncertainty in our world, hold firmly onto us and help us to hold firmly onto you. May you offer reassurance and peace and may we put our trust in you. Amen.